Hey, if you've heard of Scrivener, but its complexity kind of intimidates you, then you're in luck. I'm going to be breaking down Scrivener into little digestible bites so you can maximize the software to write amazing stories. Hey friends, let's talk about Scrivener very, very specifically today, how to fix tab problems, indentation problems while you're compiling. And by talk, I mean I talk and you leave comments down below, ask me questions or tell me about your favorite Scrivener features. So when you compile a kind of standard manuscript, the standard of the first paragraph is that you do not have an indentation and then in the second paragraph you do. But Scrivener is kind of finicky with this when you are compiling. So here is a tip on how to fix that. Right in here, um, if you look at a couple of my other videos, I talk about the styles and how I make my own little styles right here. So I have one called normal and then one called normal start. And normal is just this right here. So it's Times New Roman, size 12, double spaced and indented a half an inch. But I have normal start right here. And this is Times New Roman, size 12, double spaced, but it has no indent. So I set my styles up. And to do that, you go to the styles panel and you, you preset all of your, you know, these things over here. And then you just are selected onto whatever you want. And you say add, and then you can name it. And next style will be normal. I, usually I make normal first. Um, or when you're making it, you can also see this style. So whatever this is, next one, cancel. I usually set up normal first. Oops, nope, I want you to be more start. There we go. I usually set up normal start and then, or sorry, normal and then normal start. And then every new section that I start is normal start at first and then it will go into normal after that. So that's important, I promise. <laughs> um, this scene right here is designated normal start and normal kind of all the way through it. This scene right here, so chapter five, is not. So it's got the same settings, but it's not got a style designated to it. Nowhere in here does it have a style designated to it. All right, so keep those two things in mind. So we'll go to compile, do to do, and um, so in the compile, I always compile to Microsoft Word because that's where I export to. And then I always compiled my manuscript to Times because I love Times New Roman. And the section layouts that show up in here are only going to be the ones that you have actually assigned in your project. So I've only got the front matter right here, the part heading right here, and the section right here. So if I click on this, it'll show me which things over here are going to be reflected in this. So what I'm concerned with right now is the section. This is my scene, my basic text. And if I want to edit it, it won't let me just edit this. I have to duplicate it. So I'm going to duplicate it. This brings up this, um, this screen, this panel. So since you're making a new one, I'm going to say my manuscript times. And I want to save this as my formats because if you save it as project formats, it will only apply to this specific project. If you save it in my formats, it will show up all across all of your Scriveners. So this is the titled section and I want it to include the title. I want it to include the text. It doesn't need to include notes, synopses, or metadata that I have set up. Those are invisible in the background. I don't want them. So down here in settings, Paragraph first line indents. Do not change so that it will just be whatever you have put in your manuscript. And you can do it that way or setting it up here, remove from first paragraph after empty lines. Um, if you move just from the first paragraph, if you have like right here, my scenes, I have two scenes in one chapter and it will count, it, it won't indent the second one. Um, and then remove from all paragraphs following other elements. So if you've got a horizontal line or um, an image or something like that, then it will, the next paragraph will be not indented. But I am going to just have removed from first paragraph after empty lines and we'll say safe. All right. So now I've got my manuscript, 
my times manuscript up here and I'm going to compile this. So here is this one. All right, as we can see, so this is the same as scene one, chapter one right here, which I showed you, I've got, I had it designated as normal start and then normal. And so that showed up, it's, it's exactly how I want it to be, no indent. But let's go down to, I'm not gonna, part five. And part five, and it's not because I did not designate it as normal start and normal. I have one through four designated that way. So four still does it, three whoops, still does it. it, it's indented over, but five is where I stopped doing that. And so five does not, beep, 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 there we go. Five does not have it. So if you are trying to compile and you're having an issue with those tabs over, try this fix, see if it works. And I hope it does. I hope it works for you. And I hope that your frustrations with not being able to compile how you want to, because I know that's when I, I get really frustrated. Um, I hope that those go away and that you can, um, yeah, compile to your heart's content and be looking out for more videos about kind of, um, uh, compile troubleshooting that will be coming soon and already okay so uh thanks for tuning into this video i hope you learned something new and if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe wash your hands black lives matter and have a nice day